So I found a crack on the bottom of this well pump thing, well pump head, and uh, trying to heat it up so that I can graze it. I got it all V grooved out, die grinder, and I'm just trying to slowly heat up to the red hot so I can definitely uh, bottom there, grazing around. You guys will be able to see any of this, but we'll try it. No, mm. we might be able to see it. Let's see if we can see it. It's not intentional. I drilled the crack down in there, it was fairly thick. It's gonna take a little bit more to heat that. This flange heats up pretty quick. You might hear the rain dripping on the uh, steel roof here. It's not cast iron cracking, I hope. Bigger the gob, better the job. You exercising? Yeah. You exercising? <laughs> feel the burn. I feel the burn. Feel right the here. burn. Oh, by the way, check out how to do too. <laughs> it doesn't seem like there's a lot of information out on the internet on how these things work. And I don't think I know either. But I'm going to try to figure it out. So. I've uh, got a pipe that screws up into here. This is uh, where the water comes out. This screw, uh, so there's threads in here, pipe goes into here, the water fills up in here and all the way up into here and then runs out. Um, this is like a set screw that holds the pipe tight, so that's all in. And then the center section, I've got to figure that out yet. That's the, uh, the up and down portion here that connects up here. I uh, did some crappy welding to try to mimic the crappy welding of the original one that was on there. So I still have to drill some holes in here. So this was, this is the original one, but it had some weird wear and stuff. So I'm trying to make a new one. I've got some packing. I'll show you for in there. It's a cotton string that I then uh, soaked in some graphite stuff. Um, but the main part of this thing that I don't know that there's not a whole lot of information on the internet is there's a cylinder that goes way down in the well 
and then there's a piston in there and a whole bunch of check valves. So as I put this back together, I'll try to videotape. See the hole right there? <laughs> videotape. I'll try to get a video of it. Um, this little hole here. I think what that's for is when you push the piston all the way down past this, all the water that's in the tube, because this is going to go down, I think, 50 feet. Um, so all the water that's above that will drain out. Well, at least once you get above the water level. Um, so that'll drain out. That makes it easier to pull the pump up later. So the only thing I'm getting ready to put together right now is this is the lower, the screws into the bottom of here. And I could not find new seals. If you look in there, that seal looks pretty grody, uh, that tapered one. I put a new flat seal on top, which isn't quite hitting yet, I think. Um, but anyway, that's the way, the whole weight of the water pushes down on that, so I think that'll seal enough. Um, there is a small spring in here and a bolt. See the bolt sticking up there? And then there's a spring. And then that washer and nut are one piece, so that whole thing goes on. So this one, uh, I, you, I can't find parts for these. Although one thing I did find today, putting it back together, is there's a name on this thing. I hope I'll be able to get a decent image of it here. Let me turn it the right way around. Do uh, do. Come on, come on, focus. There you go. Looks like Clayton, Mark, and Company, Chicago, Illinois. So I think that's what that says. Um, I'll do a little searching on the web later on, but I first noticed that today putting it back together. So what I will do is put some mineral oil on here uh, as a lubricant, screw that together tight, and then I can start putting the rest of it together. I have um, the new ones you can find online have actual check balls here, not these flapper check things, um, but they're fairly pricey and I had this one sitting here, so I'm just going to try to make this one work. And uh, as they put more of it together, I'll well, let, let you guys see. Let me see if I can show you see if I can show you how this thing works. So this is the piston portion. And it's, uh, I took the leathers off. And what the leathers are, are these little cup seals. Uh, one goes right here, and one goes down there. And uh, what this thing does, so the check valve in the bottom of this tube. And then when this thing comes up, so the, when this thing comes down, the little check ball in here, so I'm going to operate it here with my finger. Check ball in here comes up. See how that pops up? So as this is being pushed down, that comes up, letting the water into the cylinder. And then when it hits the bottom, you pull it up, you pull all that water up. So I'm going to try to put on, I got new, see new uh, leathers. See, they get kind of wore off on the outside edges from wearing inside of that tube. Um, I did polish the inside of this tube with some real fine steel wool. Which you won't really be able to see. Um, and then these here, like I said, once I have it out, I'm going to put new ones of these in. So I've got the new ones soaking in water, so they'll be able to conform to the new one. And that was the only part I could buy new were these, the the flat seals. I guess I can buy some rubber and make some, and which is kind of what I did. I bought some washers from the hardware store. And uh, this one here you might be able to see. Yeah, maybe not. I I put it on here. Tighten it down, and then I took a, a utility knife and cut around to make it the right size. And then the one that was, like I said, the one that I showed you on the inside of here, um, that one was a little bit bigger, but it still was smaller than the inside diameter of this, so I think it'll be good. So now I'll put the leathers on, and then I'll slide it down into the tube, and I should be good to go then. So then one of the issues that I've been finding is there's not a lot of information on how to really work with any of this stuff. Apparently, no one uses these anymore. Although there is like the uh, layman's non-electric, and there's a whole bunch of um, windmill sites, windmill pump sites. Um, so I probably won't be able to do this with one hand, but this, now that I've had it soak for a few minutes, I'll force it on over this, um, this way, oops, this way, and then this other section here. I'll put that one, that cup for that one will go on this way and then I'll quickly put it inside of the cylinder and get it set up in there so it kind of takes a set to the right size of the cylinder so when this goes up this should try to force its way out on this way and the other way should force the other one out so it kind of keeps it against the sides and seals that up so when these wear out then you end up not having a water pump so 
Let me uh, try to get that together with two hands. And I'm looking at it now, I had it describe it wrong here. So both these cups are going this way, which makes sense because you're when you're pulling this rod that way, you're pulling the water up. And just the way that these are set up on here, um, I put a little bit of uh, again mineral oil on all the threads. That should be something. But there's uh, the way it's set up. This has got to be the way they go back together on here. Probably should have taken some uh, better pictures when I started, but that way the the they're pulling out when you're pulling up the cylinder to and there, there's a little relief back in here for the rubber or the leather to go into so i'll tighten that back down of, and get it together. there's a little bit of finagling to get it kind of rocked down in there uh, but now the seals are in there and i'll put a little oil on the threads of this top piece and put that down on there and then i should be ready to start testing this in a little pail of water to make sure the darn thing works before i shove it 50 feet down a all hole. right so, so here i've got this pail full i'm gonna uh, maybe turn that down a little bit we'll leave the hose run that way we get uh keep on feeling so this is just put all the stuff inside of here and this is so to pretend this is down in the well so this piston will go down pushing out the air that's in the bottom then we pull it up down so i'd say it's probably working looks like i'm getting a lot of resi residue from that uh, oil i put in there that um mineral oil but that's good it's fine now I just have to get, uh, I'm going to put uh, PVC pipes on here, and then I got all the rods for the middle, so it's got a little bit of work to do, but it looks like it's working, so this would be down in the well, and like I said, right now, <laughs> that's, uh, that's that weep hole, so now if you were down, if you're down in the well and you had all the water in your pipe, it should run out. As you're pulling it up, I guess. Yes, it does. Uh, looks like it makes some inefficiencies when you're. Let me get this back out of here. It does make some inefficiencies as you're. Pissed. So that's pumping up. And that's pushing out whatever water was in there. So. Well, that seems all right. So fully, fully functional. We'll have to get the rest of it together and show you guys how that looks. So this is the next section here. Uh, instead of using steel pipe like would have been done back when these things were new, I'm going to try this uh, Schedule 40 inch and a quarter PVC pipe. And I just got done gluing all of the male pipe fittings on the end here. And then I did all but one, I wasn't going to do them all and I stopped, of uh, the female pipe fittings. So these are 10 foot. The first rod is 11 feet. So I should put the first rod in the center, uh, I think it's called a mm, sucker rod. So the sucker rod is what moves the piston down in the pump. I'm going to put that one on first and that will get me a foot above these. Uh, these are 10 foot sections, but then by the time I put the fittings and stuff on the end, um, they were actually like 10 and a quarter, or 10 foot, one quarter inch, and then plus these fittings. So they'll be, you know, we'll be gaining a couple inches. So by the time I get to the top, I should be closer to flush. I guess, uh, but I can leaving that last one that way. I can adjust that one if I have to for some reason. So, are you feeling the burn? <laughs> All right, are we ready to go? Mom um, says we are. All right, we're gonna start walking away. You guys can stay here. See you later. <laughs> have a good night. Hope your new family so right loves now, you. Right now we have roughly six and a half inches of sucker rod sticking out of there. And when this whole thing is together, when this is all the way at the bottom, and the handle being all the way up, it looks like we get connected all together. But we want to be, we want to be in the middle. The cylinder down there has a 12-inch stroke. We want to be in the middle of that. So that means we got to cut about four to six inches off this rod to bring the cylinder in the bottom of that well up four inches so we're in the middle or at least closer to the middle of the range you never want to be on the ends you're good you willing to go down that hole if it falls off yeah you got the clamp on here and the rope just the same knot we had last time yeah, looks different
Okay, slow, slow. You may have to start up the tractor. Hold on, stop, stop. You're gonna have to back up a little bit, I think. Just hold on, you're gonna have to, when you start it up, lift it up. Okay, stop, that's good. Now back up and go to the north a little bit. Turn your wheels, there you go. Back up a little bit. Lift it up a little more. A little more. Okay, hope that's good. Now back up just a little bit. Lift it up, it's settling. Okay, back up a little bit. Right there is good. All right, here we are. Dark out. Uh, problem I've got, which I don't know if this is normal. Come on, focus. Maybe it doesn't focus at night. Um, so I got set this up so you start pumping the water. Water comes out. But then, number one, I forgot to drill the hole six feet down for frost, so I gotta pull this all back up and drill a hole, eighth inch weep hole. Um, but there's 50 feet of pipe going down. So now when I pump the last pump, water's out, I let go, the handle comes up because there's 50 feet of water in that pipe. And it's pulling that piston down. So the drain hole would help me a little bit, but I'm still gonna have this problem. So I'm not sure if that's normal. If anybody has any ideas, leave a note down in the comments. But So I've just been tying a rope on here. One, there's one, two. See, I gotta get, I gotta get a drain hole in there. And probably some sort of a drain. This has got pouring onto a cement block right now, so. But it's working. Today, tomorrow is today. That's what I had to do last night to keep the handle from coming up. So we'll see if I undo this. Does it come up by itself yet? Oh yeah, still does. So we got 50 feet of water. And I'm guessing the pipe has some left in it. Let's see what this does here. One, two, Three, so two we're getting water already. So I'll just put my uh, rope back on it because as soon as you get done putting it down, it comes up by itself. So, well, it's in anyway. Anybody can tell me if this is poisonous. Is that a poisonous spider? I would say. Normally, if it's got a white stripe and it's brown and brown, that means it's poisonous, right? That's how that works, right? Okay. Confirm